Listen, I am going to have to write to that beat right there. That joint is fire. Are you dumb? Hold on. Are you dumb? That beat is fire. Definitely got to write something. Even if I don't record it, but I just got to write to it. See, me, man, I, I love... When it comes to music, man, like, I hold everything to high regards. And that beat was fire. <laughs> but anyway, what do you do, y'all? It's your brother, man, from the motherland coming to you guys live. Indirect. Back with another episode of that Repent and Die podcast. I am your host, June's original true by blood, not by conversion. You know, I'm out here splurging, splurging with the what? With the word. And without further ado, I would like to say thank you to the people thank you to the most high and just me being a heck of a good guy you hear me but listen man uh, before i even proceed to talk about what i want to talk about please if you didn't tune in to the latest episode of the repent or die podcast i got a brand new episode titled what is bt Something that's very informative, something that's very important for us as colored people to listen, to pay attention to, and to do the necessary things to correct it. You feel me? Because that channel, afar with other channels, is a tool being used to destroy the people. That in VH1, listen, man, you be a fool if you allow your children to partake and watch and take anything, even adults. If you was a grown person and you get entertained by these things, you need to check yourself into a psychiatric ward. Facts. But for me, I'm a little tired. I did 500 and something push-ups today. I did weighted dips on a 45. I did ab work. Tomorrow is going to be strictly leg day. And um, this is how we do it. You know, I, I shot videos. Shout out to all the bros that was participating. You know what I'm saying? I'm going um, to definitely have this this um video up maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I got to edit. You know, editing is a very long, vigorous process, but somebody got to do it, right? But um, I wanted to talk to you guys about something, something that was on my mind, and it and it been on my mind for the last couple of weeks. Never had the time, you know. Sometimes one thing come on my mind and then it gets overshadowed by something else. But as I was driving home today, I really had to say to myself, "Nah, I gotta talk about this and why." <laughs> So the topic that I want to talk about is are colored women suffering from low self-esteem? Is colored women suffering from low self-esteem? It's a trillion dollar question. And if you ask me, June's the original Jew by blood, not by conversion. Mr. You know I'm out here splurging. If you was to ask me, my answer would simply be yes. Why? Because when I sit back, especially after I did the whole BET nonsense, and when I sit back, and I recollect myself and I gather my thoughts and I just pay attention to my surroundings, my community, my people. I come to find out that every single female that I meet are all doing the same exact thing. 
women now talk the same, act the same, dress the same, quick to blame, want the fame, can't do a thing. See when these all these things rhyme? It's because it's meant to go together. And it kills me because it's like we don't have no no self identification. Like like we you can't identify yourself separate from somebody else. A woman shows her separateness because she did she she didn't deal with Tom Dick and Harry. But the mannerisms and the characteristics are all the same. I go outside nowadays. Females want to put on their little hoochie mama clothes. I was working out today. Two sisters come into a park with no children. Just come into a park because you know there's nothing but testosterones out there. And shout out to the the fellas who held their peace as you should. It's what warriors do. But these females come to the park and, you know, nothing on. One of them look like they got their body done. And it's like, are we the only, is this, like, is this something that colored women is affected by? Like, we, we want the attention, but we want to pick and choose the type of attention that comes our way. Meaning, yeah, I'm going to dress like a hoochie mama, but you don't have the right to check me out, try to holler, do et cetera, et cetera. Because you don't fit this criteria in my mind. And I tell women this all the time. You are what you put on. If you get if you put on a hoeish outfit, one of them is gonna approach you like a hoe. They may not say, yo, come here, hoe. But in their mind, it's like, yo, I wanna, you know what? Right? When you dress like a modest woman, a man is going to be like, wow, she's amazing. She looks mad good. I would like to get to know that. It's all, remember, the first, the, 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 the first thing that is triggered is the eyes. That's why the eyes is wicked. The first thing that's triggered is the eyes. Eyes turn into lust, depending on what you present. You are a commodity. And I don't want to even get off track, but I just have to say this because every time I see my sisters, I'm even seeing little girls now. And I don't know where their parents at. I don't know if the parents is okay with that. But I'm watching little girls now with nothing on. Little girls. These are the this the, this is the times that we are in as people, that we watching our generation <laughs> become something that we was never designed to become. And I'm gonna do a and and then I'm gonna do a Sabbath talk Saturday, and the title of that Sabbath talk is going to be called, "Have we signed the lease for hell?" Have we? Because what I'm witnessing now is beyond bonkers. So yes, we're going to talk about it. But the reason why I'm saying is our women, do, do colored women suffer from low self-esteem is because I'm starting to realize that our sisters aren't comfortable in their own skin. If it's not from, if it's not to the makeup, it's to the weave, from the weave to the body done. Where we're not even appreciating the fact that you are alive. That we wanna, we want, we we wanna fit this criteria that comes with such negative and wickedness. Yes, having other people, having a lot of people revere you and 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 want to be a part of you and admonish you or whatever that word is. 
that 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 joint comes with a price. You're not just gonna find your prince charming, and that's and a lot of women is starting to realize that. A lot of women has realized that they have given themselves up to demons. These demons are here, and these and the demons is not what you see in the movies. These demons dwell inside people, and uses people's bodies to destroy God's creation. And when I see my sisters go out their way and put the makeup on and put the weave on or the wig, just to stand, just to be amongst people, to be seen as a level of looking good, it raises a concern for me. Now, granted, you know, we, we all want to look good, but women put a lot of emphasis on their beauty and don't even put more emphasis on their natural abilities. Like the Wiz tell me, I like to put it on because it makes me look more polished. Polished for who? Anybody that deserves you and want to have a conversation with you and want to be with you should love you for who you are, not what you want to be. And a lot of these, and a lot of you men are getting catfish. A lot of you men are devoting your time into these females, and these females be 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 Johnny Brasco's out here, man, playing both sides of the field. You hear me? Putting things on, I'm listen. I'm watching things on Instagram. Listen, listen. These girls be looking hit, and then touch they self up, and these females be looking like dime pieces. I'm talking to the point like, yo, if I seen her outside, I'm going to holler. I'm I don't care what comes along with this. I mind you, these girls before and after the before picture, their teeth is yellow. <laughs> Yo, the teeth is yellow. Their 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 skin is in five different shades. Like yo, it, it be bad. It be bad. And even even with the weave and the wigs. Oh my jeez, I seen this one girl had a whole Michael Jordan bald head, bro. And she put her joint all the way back. And then she put it forward. Like she didn't, it was effortless. Like she done it so much, she don't even need a mirror. She knew exactly where it was gonna place. And they started dancing like nothing happened. So, yo, for me, that's a crime. You should be going to jail for that because this is identity theft. You're in the, this is not what's on the ID. Are you dumb? <laughs> yo. You know, and, I, and I'm starting to see that and I'm seeing it all over the place. And it's like, why? Why? There's people, there's people outside every day wishing that they could walk, wishing that they can talk, wishing that they can see. And here we are being able to do all of this. And we're still not satisfied. We rather take our chances and go out the country to put injections or get operations done that's gonna do damage to you long term now we're not talking about those that did it and 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 you know <laughs> had a fatality we're not talking about those we're talking about those that did it and over time things still malfunctioning and th those things is an expense and guess what you got to make sure you continue having that income to support that expense. Because if you take, if you waiting for your income tax money to do that, you're going to have a rude awakening. This is a fact. And what I'm saying, I'm starting to believe that it's true. Like I said, yeah, I believe that it's true. I believe that colored women are suffering from low self-esteem, severe mental illness, where we mimic and, mon and and follow things that we see on TV. Our perspectives and our and, and our perception of things is never based from 
people we know who has experienced, who have overcome and triumphed these traumas. We base our, our, our understandings and our knowledge from people that we see on TV, social media, the whole shebang. This is where we base, this is where we base our intel. So yes, I think women suffer, have a high degree of low self, low self-esteem, high degree. Men, to the point is mental illness. I say, I said it. To the point, it's mental illness. And you're going to get those that's going to say, well, so, so what? It makes me feel good. I, I understand that. I understand, you know, when you go out, you know, some, listen, I'm, if it's to go out, a wedding, uh, an event, a graduation, something that needs you to be at your best, I understand it. But it's still something that's supposed to be done in moderation. I'm watching females, like I said, have mastered this makeup thing and become a totally different person, bro. Totally different person. I don't know who the before and after is. You couldn't even, if I told you this was the same person, you would have thought I was lying. That's how, that's how expertise they, these individuals has become when it comes to these makeups. The, 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 these front, these frontliners, girls be hooking it up. You really, yo, I used to really think I'm seeing these girls. I'm like, yo, mama, oh, you lucky. Oh, you a colored girl with some, with some mira mira here? Oh, my jeez, damn baby girl. To come to find out that joint was a, a, a lace front. Crazy. Crazy. Sisters, you, you know, seeing in the hood with just regular Joe Smoes, man. Go out the country, get their body done, come back, delete all their old pictures, and start uploading back shots. And this is the norm for them. Come on. You can't tell me our sisters don't suffer from low self-esteem. Our sisters suffer from an extreme level of low self-esteem. Yes, black women suffers from a high level of low self-esteem, which is diagnosed. You are diagnosed as having a mental illness. I'm going to leave it as that. If I'm lying, somebody somebody comment and tell me what am I missing or if I'm going overboard. Because these are the conversations that we need to have. And I'm going to leave it as that, man. It's your brother, man, from the motherland. Continue supporting, man. He knows that R.O.D. that repent and die. You know who is I. June's the double, double N. J-U-N-I. You know, keep my big toe on you heathens and he grows next, man. So I'm gonna leave it as that, man. I'm gonna holler at y'all.